All right, we're back. We'll park you up by there. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go through there. This hive. Make sure everything's okay. Take a frame of honey out, remember. Because this hive needs some honey. Because we took the queen out of there. Took the queen out of there. Put her over here. With some nurse bees that don't fly because they're babies. All the foragers stayed by there. So they couldn't swarm with their queen, which is here. But they haven't got no honey or nectar coming in. Pollen. So we put a pollen party in. I believe it's a frame of honey. Because there's no honey enough in to drink. So we're going to go in here now. Nick a frame of honey. Put it in with a kiffily queen. I'm going to put you somewhere where you can see. Sort the camera out there. Right there. <coughs> that smoke gets me every time. Now these ones, they should be moving up into the super. This is the super to make honey. This is a brood box, it's bigger than the super. But, they don't seem to want to rush up there. So we'll see what's happening in the brood box. into cone and fill it with honey and nectar and that. But there's nothing happening at the moment. Chicken peas. Lots of them. I'm going to start this end because I know what I'm looking for and we'll have it out straight away. We could take that. I'll just check you can see. Let me just check you can see. We could take that because that's got the honey on. Both sides. Somewhere to lay in the middle there. Where there's no honey. There's what they call capped brood. Capped broodler. Capped honey, there's a difference. See, that's got a baby bee in it. That's got honey in it. Yeah, don't come out here if everyone's doing something. So we shake off the live bees. And we prop this up over here. We've got a new frame of. Got a new frame of foundation to go in there. I'm just trying to make sure you can see. So we stick that to the side. We get this one. I have to one. Move that one over. Move that one over too. Nectar and pollen on that one. Nectar is basically uncapped honey. on this one where they started drawing it out by yeah there's a lot of eggs in there I don't know if you can see so we stick that one stick that one didn't like it so they took off but they're not aggressive they're just flying around Ah, there's the queen. 
Let me move the smoke up. Where'd she go? There she go. She's got a red dot on it, this one. Ah, oh, she slipped on in between the frames. Trying to look and see the bee. It's a red dot. Oh, she's going back in there. Okay. We leave then. They seem a bit. They seem a bit touchy. So I'm going to keep looking. Only because. Check to see if they're not prepared for this walk. think of some way to make a move up into this box quicker but they're not aggressive bees they're not trying to sting the death out of me they're just in the air they're calm down now So this one, yeah, my Philly Queen. I'm gonna stick the frame with honey in there in a green box. Maybe if I move you over here, it'll be a better view. Oh, that looks after you, though. Be right now. We've got a little bottom party there. We've got a frame with any there. You've seen it on the last video. My Confini Queen. She's looking good. And that's it. Another little successful mooch around the beehive. I never got stung, so it's always a result. 
We're waiting for some swarms. Last year I must have had about six or seven phone calls from black bees that had um, swarmed into trees. I don't know, I don't know your level of bee expertise here, so I don't want to be all hitting you with a big lingo. If you don't know it. <laughs> and I went and rescued a, a couple. As soon as I get a phone call this year saying there's a swarm of bees in the tree, Cluster on a branch. We're going to get them. I'm not sure where. I'm sure where I catch this one. That's it. Other than that, everything's going okay. I'm still looking for the name. I'm still looking for the name for this hive. I haven't got a name for it yet. That's my Casilli Queen in the green box. Cheers, right? I haven't got a name for any of these. That one, that one, well that one. This one I haven't got a queen yet, so as soon as she comes up, we're going to need to name her. Just so we can keep a track on our hives. Any ideas for names, hit them in the comments, innit? Remember, we've got kids though, so they likes to ask what they're called. So yeah, let me know. Keep you up to date.